Greetings everybody. You're tuned again to Revelation in Focus. Uh, we are going to be getting into uh, chapters of Revelation from here onwards that you can consider uh, very, very tough chapters um, that will be covering a tremendous amount of serious doctrines. We urge you to, as from this point, do not miss any of the episodes, any of the productions. It's going to be a link in a chain. In addition to that, uh, you will find that you will hear certain things from this study from here onwards that you are not likely to hear many other places. Uh, many of you will find that uh, the kind of messages you will get from your individual uh, some of your churches will not you will not get some of these from some of your pulpits uh, therefore pay keen attention in addition to that you will be given scriptural references so you will, you will be able to check for yourselves and to verify okay it's a very serious chapter from here uh, Revelation 12 and before we begin to read I'll ask Elder Union to lead us to the throne of grace eternal God and Father we thank you once again for spared lives yes we thank you for call to service mm. we ask of you to open our minds and inspire us by the Holy Spirit as we try uh, as we delve into the, 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 the deep things of revelation Hallelujah. for Christ's sake. Amen. 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 Elder Mentor, Elder Union, Revelation 12. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun, and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she, being with child, cried, travailing in birth, and pained to be delivered and there appeared another wonder in heaven and behold a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born and she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron and her child was caught up unto God to his throne a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet let's get into this discussion what is the Bible talking about here uh, several bits of imagery here uh, great wonder in heaven a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet first of all woman what are we talking about what is the bible referring to woman here elementor elder union i'm sure we would have mentioned this before mm -hmm. that a woman in prophecy means a church good mm -hmm. all right so here it is saying, there is a woman clothed with the sun. Now hold on, do we have scripture to support that woman being church? Can we support that uh, by scripture? Um, yeah, well, um, mm -hmm. Isaiah, yes. when the Lord said, I like Zion, the daughters of Zion, like yes. unto a virgin. Yes. And we know the daughters of Zion is really the church. Yes. God's church. It's yes. people collectively talking about. Yes. And not an individual. In addition to Jeremiah 6 2. Right? Uh, mm -hmm. giving you the daughter, giving you the daughter of Zion uh, as as a as a woman. Mm -hmm. And so that's that's supported by scripture. You could see um mm -hmm. Second Corinthians eleven two. Second Corinthians eleven two. Uh-huh. Um, 
that means how quickly I can put my hand on that. Second Corinthians um, eleven two. Uh -huh. Second Corinthians. I um, let me eleven two. It says. Okay, go ahead. For I am zealous over you, with godly. For I am jealous over you with godly jealousy. For I have exposed you to one husband that I may present you as a chaste virgin to Christ. This is a lot of imagery to womanhood here. Mm -hmm. And the church is being depicted here. Yep. Yes, as virgin and being exposed, married when, to Christ. When Paul speaks about you, he's speaking about, he's speaking about it in a plural sense. Mm -hmm. The you does not represent that single individual, mm -hmm. but the church. The collective. The, body. the church of Corinth, right. to which he was writing. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, and so, we have established by scripture, woman means church. Um, and so, this woman is clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet and the crown of 12 stars Let, let's take that in the order that the bible is, has written the sun what is this sun talking about here yeah she's clothed with the sun the sun of righteousness the, the sun of righteousness the, the manifestation of the sun of righteousness it is a gospel age mm -hmm. when christ mm -hmm. the son of god would be manifested the 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 time when the gospel that has been prophesied mm -hmm. is now about to be realized so the church is in a transition wonderful mm -hmm. all right mm -hmm. we would come out from a reflective mode to the light of light the, of the of full of light itself right to so the light of the glorious gospel okay um and, and there are a number of other portions of scripture that we can follow too uh john 8 12 Christ declaring I am the light of the world mm -hmm. uh, John 1 uh, 4 uh, 5 and 9 he was in the his life is the light of men he's in the world and uh, his his light life was the light of the world the darkness mm -hmm. comprehended it not exactly. um, Luke 2 32 uh, he's the light to the Gentiles mm -hmm. um, John 12 4 to 6 I have come as light and Luke 1 78 where Christ is depicted as the sunrise the day spring had visited us mm -hmm. so we, 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 we there are numerous portions of scripture here to support that the woman being clothed with the sun is a son of righteousness we're talking mm -hmm. about the light of Christ the, the light of the gospel good um, any other thoughts on this uh, in the union? You want to throw something here or let's move on? No, it's, it's basically the sun signifies the light and glory of the gospel era. So Wonderful. Yes, correct. No problem. And the moon under her feet. Yeah. What is this moon talking about according to the Bible reference here? What is the moon? Mm -hmm. like, I, like I just mentioned, that the moon is a reflector. The moon is the reflector. Right, so um, the moon here is indicated as the Old Testament era Old Testament. with its with its types and shadows mm -hmm. of the real thing which was in Christ Wonderful. so it would it, it would have reflected mm -hmm. the things of Christ it would have it would have reflected it would have been foretold in the Old Testament era mm -hmm. that this great Messiah is coming the light of the world is coming mm -hmm. all right so it is now past so it is under the feet a correct place for it to be because it's the foundation in which the woman stands wonderful all right so so here again uh we see the link in the chain of prophecy we previously we would have discussed the two witnesses exactly the, the point. old and new, new testament. testament right We're coming again to that exactly um, and right. no light mm -hmm. that you claim come out of the new testament if it does not have a foundation in the old, it is not light. Something is it wrong. It is something with that. else. Right. It exactly. has to find a bearing on the old. It Testament. has to be based on, yeah. on the old. Yeah. Um, and there are portions of scripture that we can support that. Colossians 2.17 and Hebrews, the entire chapter of Hebrews 10, 
talking about the shadow of things and mm -hmm. being replaced by anti-type type yeah. and anti-type okay. and, and if we look through the the, the, um, the genealogy and all the like mm -hmm. given in, in 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 matthew and those other gospels yes. mm -hmm. you would see where they trace right back these genealogies are from the old testament era Wonderful. the prophets etc etc and you also would hear them quoting scripture for the matter mm -hmm. because the new testament preachers Mm -hmm. Scripture for them was the Old Testament. Bottom that is line. what they preach mm -hmm. from. So today, when we are preaching, we preach from the Old and the New, and the new. because all is gospel, all is um, Scripture to us. And but the in their era, exactly. they had the New. They were now living the New, so Wonderful. they had to quote the Old. They had to preach from the Old. But we also saw the Messiah himself quote from the Old. Mm -hmm. When he was when a Bible man in, in the in the temple to read, he said, "Look." Uh, the Spirit of the Lord is upon me mm -hmm. uh, to, to to preach liberty. Uh, to, to bring liberty to captives and then he said look this day the scriptures fulfilled in your eyes all right, and, all eyes right. was, and he was quoting from Isaiah he was exactly quoting from the, the Old Testament okay so so the moon represent represented the foundation mm -hmm. which would have been shadows or types mm -hmm. uh, that would soon give way to anti-type okay now let's move on um, and upon her head a crown of 12 stars what can we make out the 12 stars to be what is the bible alluding to here elder union elder mentor what are we talking about um the crown here mm -hmm. remember the, the 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 new testament church mm -hmm. was um Jesus formed the 12 disciples, 12, 12, apostles. So 12 stars, uh, apostles, disciples, so that Wonderful. signifies the... Uh, Wonderful. Yeah. They, they, were the, they were the primary messengers mm -hmm. of the church. And if you guys can recall when we started our, our in, in the early stages of Revelation, when we went to the church where we said Christ walk among down between the candlesticks, etc. Mm -hmm. And we spoke about the stars where we mentioned that stars represent the messengers or angels. Stars represent two things. Mm -hmm. Angels are messengers. Mm -hmm. Angels are heavenly messengers, while people are earthly messengers. So the apostle word, the earthly messengers. The, the original God. footmen. Yeah, the original and, footmen. And, and again, we have scripture to support this. Revelation 21, 14. Um, the wall of the New Jerusalem, the foundation, has the 12 names of mm -hmm. the apostles exactly and then in acts acts 1 8 he said he shall be witnesses to me in judea and to the utmost parts of the world All right. um matthew 4 19 come unto me and i will make you fishers of men right. that was his original call exactly. to the fishermen mm -hmm. the apostles mm -hmm. all right so it's no difficulty in understanding that this crumb of 12 stars has to do with the original footmen of the gospel mm -hmm. of the light of christ himself yeah. the 12 apostles all right um mm -hmm. again here yes i when we were discussing the france and, and and the bible in the previous broadcast right yes uh i was trying to say something about um what voltaire said yes well, I'm going to say it again. He said, um, the, the, this, this church or this organization that is uh, um, boasted to have been 12, you know, 12 men, you know, mm -hmm. he said, I can show you one man. <laughs> so here it is. So he's alluding to the 12 apostles. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. But here, Roger. I yeah, saw you can't find the exact quote here. Yeah, no, but, but, you, but, but you did quote it the last time, yeah. you can recall. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. I, 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 I alluded, but. Mm -hmm. I wanted to get the, 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 exactly. the exact verb of it, you know. Right. Yes, right. Good. Okay. All right. Now we must move on. Mm. Uh, so after the crown of 12 stars, the Bible goes on to something else. Mm. Verse 2. She, being with child, cried, travel, traveling in birth, mm. and pained to be delivered. That's right. Yeah. What is this? She's pregnant. Now... Why is the church, mm -hmm. since we've established from scripture, woman represents church, why is the church travailing? Why is it in pain to bring forth the child? Mm -hmm. uh, this is the promised Messiah. This is no ordinary child. So what's going on here? Let's Without talk. this child, the church wouldn't make sense. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This is the Messiah. Mm -hmm the bringer of the grace of god mm -hmm. the provider of god's salvation and mm -hmm. redemption mm -hmm. 
without the church having this child, mm -hmm. then the, the, it might as well be non-existent. <laughs> exactly. So what they were talking about here is, like I said before, the church in transition, mm -hmm. the church coming out of the Old Testament era, mm -hmm. awaiting the Messiah mm -hmm. to come. So this child that the church is pregnant with is the Messiah himself, mm -hmm. the Son of God, mm -hmm. yes. who will bring salvation, who will make everything in the Old Testament real, bring it to pass. Mm -hmm. It will be fulfilled in him. Yes. All right? And we will have salvation. Mm -hmm. Like Isaiah said, Isaiah the gospel prophet said, the Lord said um, through Isaiah, Yes. Uh, Behold, a virgin shall be with child. Yes. All right? Yes. And notice here, the virgin here, mm -hmm. this woman here is a virgin. Yes. There's a church in the pure sense, clean, wholesome. There's mm -hmm. a virtuous woman. Yes. A virgin woman here. Mm -hmm. All right? Later on, we will see a harlot. Maybe you don't in the other, other chapters. Which <laughs> yeah, we're going to get there. Right. But we're right now, we see a virgin woman, a pure church. A chaste here. woman, right. a pure church, mm -hmm. awaiting the Messiah. Right? For unto us, a, a, what? a child is born, mm -hmm. and to us a son is given. Mm -hmm. And you're mentioning pure. We're going to get back into this again when we were able to compare uh, false and, and pure church. Uh, but we remember the, uh, the parable that Christ spoke to with the, the virgins. Mm -hmm. When he, virgin here uh, assumes the position of unadulterated truth, mm -hmm. gospel, mm -hmm. uh, prophecy. Okay? Um, and so when 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 you when when you understand that uh the true church here is is a virgin church this 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 is talking about a church that is not um that is not corrupted by false teachings and 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 doctrines now we're going to come back again to false doctrines and teachings just now but uh just to expound to on what you just said to, to expand on that the church in transition that period of time uh, leading up to the coming of the Messiah, the the amount of stress, difficulty that the church was under during that time, in 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 the leading up to the birth of Christ, mm -hmm. um, the devil seeking at every point because to stamp for, out the church. Because for right. four hundred years the Lord did not send a prophet. That's right. The, 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 the <laughs> longest time. Mm -hmm that the church remain without a messenger to come in directly from the Lord saying yes. thus said the Lord yes. 400 years yes. the Lord didn't spoke to Israel yes. so, to so, so indeed it, the, the traveling board the period of time of 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 of, of all kinds of of, um, of uh, withholdings mm. and all kinds of things that the church went through during that time okay now we want to move on um, and there appeared another wonder in heaven and behold a great red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven crumbs upon his head and his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the ground and the dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for to devour her child as soon as it was born. This is a lot of imagery here. Another wonder. First wonder the church. This wonder here now. Who is this great red dragon? Who is this fellow? What's going on here? Can we associate this with a particular individual? And why seven heads and crumbs? And horns. What's going on here? Let's talk about this. Um, verse <laughs> 9 will tell us who this guy really is. Exactly. Because it refers to him as that old serpent called the devil and Satan. Mm -hmm. So this red dragon is the devil himself. Okay then. Alright? Primarily. But it may have a little application as we see the orange will indicate to roam the kingdom on the witch this thing did happen but this dragon represents satan himself satan himself this, no, you, you, is, this, you, is, this is the big man let's talk a the bit about this whole serpent the dragon john went at length here to completely expose by the use of these adjectives who this guy is exactly serpent 
uh, he calls him dragon mm -hmm. that old serpent the devil and dragon mm -hmm. this is an arch deceiver exactly um mm -hmm. this is an arch rival of god this this um guy um the bible goes on here to say draw toward of the stars of heaven but just before we get to the stars of heaven look what he's doing he's going to attack whom the man child he's going to attack the church and he's right. going to attack to stop the, the church from 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 giving birth to the man child now let's look at the agencies that the, the, this dragon used because we've got to we've got to accept the reality that he worked through human agencies, mm -hmm. human empires, mm -hmm. human powers, human authorities. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that. Yeah, what are um, some of these problems? You alluded to one just now yes. in terms of these horns. Yes. Right. Right. Uh, but 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 is it specifically Rome alone that it refers no, to? No. And then why the number seven? Rome Let's is only Rome is only partly represented because at the time when the man child and the church was attacking it was on the room was on the room. all right mm -hmm. and the, the ten horns would represent Rome good but on these the seven heads represent the greater political power through the history since men came out mm -hmm. from the antediluvian experience you're talking about Babel yes uh -huh. from since then mm -hmm. Satan has made it his object mm -hmm. to to resist God to stand up against God mm -hmm. to make sure that God doesn't have a presence mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. on the face of the earth because remember from since Eden God promised man's redemption mm -hmm. and Satan has been constantly working with that even in the antediluvian era mm -hmm. when he seek to wipe off righteous Abel and therefore they be talking about thwarting the plan of salvation exactly mm -hmm. we do not want mankind to to receive salvation so after the antediluvian era would have passed from the mm -hmm. Tower of Babel from mm -hmm. Nimrod this mm -hmm. great hunter, as they said, as war before God, mm -hmm. he started working his, 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 his mischief. And then he came right down to Egypt further. Egypt was a world power. Mm -hmm. And when the children of Israel were in Egypt, mm -hmm. he tried to annihilate the mm -hmm. children of Israel by, by destroying all the male children. All the male so children. that Israel would be cut down safely. Yes. Because if you don't have men to, 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 to impregnate women, what can happen to, to people you after a while? have a race. Exactly, you wouldn't have a race. <laughs> you can have a nation. Right? And exactly. that failed too, and he went on through other agencies like because Assyria. Because God preserved Moses, and we know what played out with yeah, that. He went um, through Assyria, Babylon, Medo Persia, all these different In addition areas. to thwarting the plan of salvation, attempting to thwart the plan of salvation through these agencies and powers, he would have done that through the systems of worship too. Exactly. Now we have, for example, in Egypt, the, the, the hieroglyphics. High, high, high yeah. They worship the, the, the crocodile. Mm -hmm. And we see resemblance of the crocodile and the dragon. Yeah. And, and, and the, the a, a beast of, of similar worship. nature. Yeah, similar and the, and, 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 right, right. and the right. seven, the number seven denotes the completeness, the, the, the totality of, of the wrath. efforts of mm -hmm. those nations that champion the cause of Satan. Mm -hmm. These guys rally behind Satan was you because these guys did not know the true and living God. Wow. All right, wow. and because they did not know the true and living God, mm -hmm. they stood on the enemy side, and he was able to work through these nations wow. to bring to try to bring to naught the plan of salvation unsuccessfully. Can we also agree that um, the red color indicates the murder or some bloodthirsty character? It's yeah. that was manifested and even through the then power that was used at rome exactly. the bloodthirsty and murderous nature of rome, of rome. Uh, mm -hmm. she uh, dared to crush because if we if we look at her description in in um, daniel 7 mm -hmm. it said she had great iron teeth and she stamped the residue, the residue with the feet and right. so she was she was cruel and angry um the children of israel the young boy children were slaughtered um, murderously all these nations were bloodthirsty people because they had no regard for human rights life because they had no regard for God and you're, ta you're talking therefore about about um, outright defiance mm -hmm. against God yeah. um, just backing up a bit on some of these powers Babylon you remember the case with Babylon mm -hmm. Daniel told Nebuchadnezzar that there would be other kingdoms mm -hmm. he made an entire image of gold he had a point to me. He wanted to change history. <laughs> um, Pharaoh said, who's the Lord 
I know not the Lord, neither will I let Israel exactly. go. Defiance against yes. God. So all defiance. these guys were the attitude of be the portion when they when they put a law in place. Nobody could change you could, it. You can't change it. And so down through time you're seeing this. And me the portion. Something played out there too mm -hmm. to wipe out and to thwart the plan of salvation to wipe out the Jews. Hence the uh, story of Esther. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um Time is against us here. Mm -hmm. We suspected that we might not have gotten to verse 5. Um, but this is a lot of meat here to chew. A yeah. lot of bone here to chew. How we couldn't even finish this verse. We yeah. couldn't even finish the verse. So we have to take them back from this. And much more to go on to, to the others. Uh, I want to say this to our viewers as we wrap up. Going back to our original... Uh, uh, the, the, the original we, we, we implored you to not miss any of these productions it's a link in a chain and each one will have more information bearing on the previous in addition to that uh, you can and you're able to verify what you hear here um, by checking uh, through scripture the scriptural references and for the, for the history, it's all there in history. You can check Egypt and all these powers were there before. And, and indeed, the dragon used those powers to thwart the plan of salvation. You can see. But the plan of salvation was not of man, was of God. Yeah. And God would prevail eventually. Um, and we'll, we'll come to that and so forth. In addition to that, the power at the time when John wrote the that is Rome we will go into much more detail as the prophecies unfold in Revelation as it's penned into a lot more on the on the role of Rome uh, down through time down through time you will be able to see from prophecy what will be unfolded uh, until then we want to wish you Godspeed and we're going to pray, we're going to ask the mentor to pray for us as we close. Loving Father, we say thank you for this morning, Lord, and the privilege we've had of opening your word again. We pray that your word will not return unto your void, Lord, but it will be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. To everyone that hear, and may salvation be ours, we pray for Christ's sake. Amen. Hallelujah.